Hey guys, this is Pobat, and uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to bypass T-Mobile's uh, hotspot throttling. So as you can see, I'm getting 0.5 megabytes a second download and 0 megabytes a second upload. So I, I've taken about three tests already, and this is the consistent speed. And I just took a speed test on my phone. I got 1.72 megabytes download, and here are uh, three other tests, as you can see. Get a consistent uh, 1.7 megabytes a second, so they are throttling me. It's not just because I have bad service. If I do this right next to the tower, I get the same result. Uh, instead, on my phone, we'll get like uh, three, 34 megabytes a second download, but I'll still get 0.5 on the computer. So that's just T Mobile throttling. Now I'll go ahead and run a test again just to show you. And the way I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to use an app called Foxfy. I believe it's also called PDA Net. Uh, there is a paid version of it, but you can use it for free. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is if you uh, use the free version. So I've just been using the free version and I haven't encountered any issues. Uh, the other method you could do is you can create a VPN at your house and then you just run through that VPN. So right now we're actually getting much slower than I normally get, which is interesting. Right now we're only getting, we're getting 70 kilobytes at most, which is average. So. I don't know why it's lower than usual, but maybe they're just getting sick of me doing speed tests. So just to show you that it's not because I'm using Wi-Fi, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off the Wi-Fi chip, or turn off the wireless radios on my laptop, turn off um, Wi-Fi, tethering, and so now it's just going to go through USB. And wait for my computer to recognize it. Alright, so as you can see, we are currently connected. And let's go ahead and do another speed test. And we'll see the same result. Yeah, so, uh, once it loads up, there we go. So, there we go, getting 0.5 megabytes a second again. So, it's not because uh, the wireless was slow, it's going right through USB, so it should be much faster. And we're still getting 0.5 megabytes a second. So, uh, I'm going to show you how to set up PDA Net, and it's super simple. So, go ahead and open up the Play Store on your phone and go ahead and download Foxfy. I believe you can also download an app called PDA Net, but they're both the same thing. Go ahead and uh, disable if you have Hotspot or USB Tethering, just go ahead and disable it. And then go ahead and activate USB mode and hide tether, or hide tether usage like that. So now, if you haven't already, uh, either installed or uh, just open it up. And once it does that, it'll say connected. And on your phone, it'll say USB type connected. Now if we did this right, which I think I did, we should see slightly faster speeds. Now I don't have a uh, great connection to the tower right now, so I'm not going to see insane speeds. But, uh we might be getting a better signal, I, I can't tell. Oh yeah, so there we go, we're getting one megabyte a second, which is, oh, we're getting 1.5, so much faster than what we were getting before. And upload, probably gonna be zero megabytes a second, but that's what I saw on my phone. Yeah, so here are the speeds. Let's go get our latest speed test, as you can see. Got 1.72 megabytes a second on my phone, and I got 1.8, so that's, basically the same thing uh, just a little faster surprisingly and uh, there you go you just bypassed uh, T-Mobile throttling uh, Donut uses it successfully because they said that they're going to crack down on data thieves which I think is stupid if you're paying for unlimited data you should be getting it but that's not for me to decide I was able to watch a 1080p 60fps video on this believe it or not um, so youtube.com is still throttled because I binge on but if you set up a uh, VPN, I set up a VPN through uh, my laptop at home, through it. So uh, let's just click on a YouTube video real quick. And you'll see that it only goes up to 200 kilobytes a second at most. Which is where uh, Binjon will throttle you to. And we're not even able to hit that just because I have uh, bad service. But uh, if I had a d better connection, it would be stuck at uh, 200 kilobytes a second, so 
uh, just to keep that in mind. But uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. And uh, if you have Android 7.1.1 or higher, I believe, you can't um, have a port portable hotspot, I believe. But uh, if you have anything lower, you will be able to hotspot as well. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys uh, found this helpful and uh, you got past Steam Mobile Startling. And in theory, you should be able to uh, hotspot uh, using your laptop to share your laptop's connection somehow. I haven't figured that out, but I believe you just have to like bridge connections or something. But I, I know it's possible, so if you really want to do that, you can. So yeah, that's actually the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll uh, see you next weekend.